Hey guys, it's Zong. It's baking outside, so we are gonna cool it down with this cold noodle salad. It's super easy to make and you barely have to heat up your kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a peanutty dressing for the noodle salad. You can make this ahead and just leave it in the fridge for a few days. So first I'm gonna start by adding some peanut butter. If you can't do peanut butter, you can always substitute it for almond butter, tahini, um, Chinese sesame paste, that's really good too. I'm gonna add it into this container. And for the peanut butter, I like to use the creamy natural kind because it's just a lot easier to work with. You can see the consistency is super fluid. All right. Now I'm gonna add some garlic, grated ginger, sesame oil. If you wanted this recipe to be vegan, you can use some maple syrup or you can substitute for honey, sugar, whatever you have on hand. This will balance out the saltiness from the soy sauce, which I will add in next. So you can use lime juice or rice vinegar or regular vinegar, whatever you also have on hand, just to give it like that acidity and zing. And then some water to thin it out. All right, so now we are gonna blend it up with our handy dandy hand blender. I, yeah, I still have them all, so. If you guys seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna use the Vitamix one today. Start on low speed and just continue to blend it until it's nice and smooth. All right, this looks good. I'm making it nice and thin because it's gonna be like a salad dressing, but you can keep the sauce for other meals too. So I have everything laid out right here. It's really simple. If you really think about this, it could totally be a good meal prep meal. Just boil the noodles ahead of time, have the sauce, add whatever veggies you have, and then whatever protein you have. Lately, I've been doing a lot of just grilled chicken and just keeping it in the fridge so I can add it to my salads whenever I need it. And this one is just a simple marinade. If you guys want me to show you how to make like a simple grilled chicken video without a grill, let me know in the comments below and also hit that like button. All right, so I'm just gonna slice my chicken. I like it really thinly sliced cause it's just more easy to consume with the salad. And then to assemble, here I already boiled all, bleh. here I already boiled off my noodles. I'm using a dried udon kind. I would not recommend using like the frozen udons. Those are just better for soups or like hot dishes like stir fries, but you can totally use like instant ramen noodles or soba noodles, whatever you have. So for the veggies, I always like adding carrots to my noodle salads. Shredded carrots are easy to find. And then usually I love adding like shredded kale, but today I have some bok choy and surprisingly shredded bok choy raw is super good in a salad. Some sliced celery just because that's like a staple vegetable that I feel like everybody has in their fridge, maybe. And then my current favorite vegetable, the watermelon radish. It looks like this inside and then this outside. It just has such a beautiful pink color that it makes me really happy eating it. And what it tastes like is almost like a daikon radish, just like a very, very concentrated one. Um, it's great for pickling. I slice it thin and then just cut it into small strips like this. And then of course our chicken. Now I add our peanut dressing. Now we'll just give it a good mix. Make sure all of the noodles are coated. It smells nice and nutty. This looks good, but we are not quite done yet. I love adding this chili onion crunch on top. For a while, I was adding it to everything, but I have since calmed down a bit. Uh, but this definitely needs it. And that looks good to me. This is a complete meal, and I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I, I have this weird habit of always blowing my food. See, I was gonna do it again. Mm. Mm. Super savory, fresh. I love the spiciness that came from the onion crunch. Each noodle strand is coated with the dressing, so it just like has so much flavor. Now this is a salad I can definitely get behind. I'm not really a salad bowl kind of girl. I always feel like something is missing, so a noodle salad definitely does the job for me. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and if it's baking where you are living, I hope you can cool it down with this noodle salad too. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.